Thank you, Peter. You guys, I thought I was going to get out of here today without any tears. I'm not going to be able to go to the supper tonight. I'm putting you on a warning right now. I just can't do it because I'll, I, once I start, I can't stop. Um, oh, my goodness gracious. You know, I didn't even know that there was anything going on until Gary said, well, come with me for a minute. And I, I started to pick up all my stuff. And he said, no, you can come back and get that. And I thought, I'll come back. Okay, so where are we going? <laughs> so, um, I d really, I do feel like I've raised you all. <laughs> Some of you not quite so well as others. <laughs> But that isn't because I haven't tried. <laughs> and seeing all my white shirts down here, I mean, every one of you, you know this. I mean, all of you, no matter what color your shirts are, but my white shirts, they know they have a special, special place in my heart. You know, the re only reason I've gotten fat is because my heart grows bigger and bigger. <laughs> with every single one of you that I add on as a wonderful um, accomplishment. I can't think, I'm sure there are people that are as lucky as I am, but I don't know who they are. And um, my proudest moments really are when I see one of you literally turn around and really accomplish your dream that you thought before you found Southwest or before Southwest found you that you were incapable of achieving. Um, I was talking to a group the other day and I, I think it was a new hire group or maybe it wasn't. I, actually, I think it was a group of res agents. And I said, I think the most special thing about Southwest, and I'll probably offend half of you in the room when I say this, but, but I do mean it from the heart. I, I do think that the most special thing about Southwest is that individually, most of us probably would not have received or achieved personal or business success. Certainly not many of us financial success and um, certainly not um, praiseworthy success in the, st in the sense of being used as an example for others. I kind of think that I, and I can say this because I feel the exact same way about me, um, I have no reason to be in the position that I'm about not going to be in by midnight tonight. Um, I have no background for it. I have no education for it. And I have no, um, I did not have the means, the financial means, or even the developmental means in my little neck of the world where I grew up to achieve any of this. So I kind of think of myself as a misfit. But then... I found another misfit that was worse than me. <laughs> and he just believed you could do anything you wanted to do as long as you worked hard enough at it. And so he convinced me that you could do that. And I can't tell you, and some of you are in the room today, the parents that I've heard from, from many of you, uh, the parents of many of you that have said, thank you for saving my child, or thank you for developing my child, or thank you for helping my child, realize that he or she could really be something special. You gave him or her the reason to have self-esteem. Well, I have to kind of laugh when I get that because that's exactly what Southwest did for me. Um, so I just think that it's wonderful in today's world um, that we have a company of leaders and even a board that acknowledges, a board of directors that acknowledges that the sum of all our parts makes for one hell of a fantastic organization 
and that even though every one of us couldn't have gone out and you know won a Pulitzer Prize for our Bibles that we might write, um, that collectively we can and we are used as an exemplar um, throughout not just the United States but throughout the country and to have been a small part of that and to have watched every one of you become uh, a contributing factor to that is truly I didn't become a nun but I feel that I have as much love from all of you, even though we might have fought from time to time, disagreed from time to time, <coughs> as my favorite nun, Sister Mary Thomas, had from all of her students that she taught. So I thank you for letting me be part of that. Um, I just can't say goodbye, but you know I'm not, because I'm going to be around. I'm still going to be a bossy Gillis, you know that. Um, and I just hope you'll tolerate me until I get so old and feeble that, you know, you finally have to put me in a home. <laughs> and that's okay. Just send me cards every now and then because as long as I get a sweet little card with an X and Y and O and zero and all that stuff on the bottom of it, I'll just be happy till the day they put me under the ground. And um, thank you for letting me take this ride. Thank you very much. I love you all.